Hi, Galuka here. I wanted to announce a new goodie release. I also want to tell you that for the full month of February, all my digital products and digital bundles are discounted. So don't forget to visit my Etsy shop for more and more digital goodies. Now let's see the new release today is the Crochet Project Journal. You might love this. If you want to save your creative crochet patterns and crochet projects and have them all in one place, you can add in this digital notebook crochet scarves, bags, projects, poncho projects, blanket projects, you name it, you can add them all here and have them for later use. Now, just a quick view of what's inside and I'm going to, after that, import this inside GoodNotes 5 for you to see how it works. So you will receive a um, notebook with hyperlinks on the first page and these hyperlinks will get you the, to the most important sections. And then you will have the outlines that will get you to the most important sections. And you'll have a uh, page with all the project lists that you can duplicate as needed. And you'll have the page template for each project. We will see it soon. And you'll be able to hold the stocks. Then you can write down measurements for you and for your dear friends, dear family, and have them here stocked so you can use them on a later date. If you need more space for your project, you can use any of these templates. This kind of projects can be challenging sometimes, so I have added these guides for you inside the notebook, but you can add more guides as you go. So this is it. Let's go and open GoodNotes 5 and import it. And there you go, I have it. One quick notice before I move any further, at least in my case, it seems that some PDFs will not upload properly in GoodNotes 5. So what I suggest, it works for me, is close the app completely and then open the app again and try to upload the PDF once more. It should work the second time. This is the cover. The first inner page has links that will get you to the most important sections of the notebook. And the sections for this notebook are crochet projects, crochet supplies, measurements, templates, and guides and resources. You can also access those sections by going to outlines in GoodNotes 5 or PDF outlines in GoodNotes 4. In order to go to outlines, just tap the four rectangles icon and hit outlines on the top right. These are the sections that are already built in the document. Hello Sunshine is the first page of this document and this is the page with the hyperlinks to the other sections. Then I have sections mentioned previously and if you see for the templates and guides resources I have an arrow on the left. If you click that you will see uh, the exact templates I have and you can click any of those templates to go to that page. Let's close this. You can do the same with guides and resources. I have two guides and resources here and you can click any of these to go to the dedicated page. Let's close this for now and just slide the pages. Each section will start with a page that will give you some instructions. Now let's create a project. Start with the list of your projects and for each project you can add the number of the project, the name of that project, the start and end date when you have them. And if you want, it would be very nice to have it visually, a picture of uh, the project. This could be a picture taken from the internet with the project you want to create or the picture with the final project you have created. 
if you have more projects just duplicate this page and and write down all your projects this is the template for the crochet project and you have space to write down the project number and the theme and category the project name the dates for who is this made and the size and measures the pattern and the hook use the gauge and then you have this yarn details here with possibility to add a sample image and then the details and of course uh, always space to write down a few notes like care instructions and more and once you have your project finished feel free to add a picture right here in this square at the end of your project don't hesitate to evaluate your result by adding the final cost here and highlighting how much you love what you have accomplished here this page can be duplicated for each project at a time in order to duplicate a page in goodnotes 5 just go to thumbnails detect the page you're in in my case i'm in page number five click on the small arrow on the bottom of the thumbnail and just hit duplicate and there you have it the next section is the crochet supplies you can capture here how much stock you have for hooks yarns and patterns so you never forget again or never buy more stuff than you need and you have this list here for the hook stock capture the sizes in four options us metric uk and japanese a few ideas about the material where you bought it from or the source and of course how many quantities do you have and then crochet yarn stock here please duplicate this page before uh, writing anything on it it's just one so you have to duplicate it in order to add all your stock on this page you have a place to put down an image of your yarn and then capture some information about that then the pattern list it's good to have a list with all the patterns you have purchased throughout the, the years or the months. And it's good to have them like that with uh, the progress on how much you have used of them or if you haven't used them at all and how, uh, which one are your favorite and which are not. And of course, details about the pattern size, brand and other details and uh, image about the pattern. Just notice that for some pages you have the legend status here. You might want to use this for a better and produ productive use. The measurement section is this page here. Duplicate this page for each person at a time. I suggest whenever you download the, the notebook for the first time, duplicate this page uh, like 10 times and then start writing on one page at a time. You can add the name of the person and the date the measurements were taken and the, then of course the details here you can also add the measurements on the images or just use these images to understand how to measure each of these steps then the template section has the main project template we have already seen it before and then you have this crochet project notes this is a ruled page that you can always copy and attach it to a project and you have the crochet project notes blank page just in case you want to add mm, images for example or sketches and still for sketches you can have this template as well now you might use this you might not use this but uh, then again it's here and it's the to-do list for every single project you you have in mind or you are uh, in progress of doing then the guides and resources section includes a hook size conversion and yarn weight and gorgeous this will be very useful to have whenever you start a new project and you will have them here inside your notebook if you want to add more you can add more just use this page at the end of your document it's a blank page add the title here for your guide and then copy the table or the guides from the internet and paste it here don't forget to duplicate this page before anything so you can use it multiple times let's use the outlines now to see how it works i'm going to templates go to sketches and here we go i'm into sketches so whenever you are in the document just always go to the outlines and choose 
where you want to go and you will be directed to the cover of that section and from there you have full control on every single page you are going to write in.